Hey girls, welcome you all back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video. This is going to be my three month update on my beautiful bag. The review is going to be on the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. This is a classic 30, so as you can see, it's not the bandolier where you can hang it, you know, across your body and stuff. This is just a regular classic Speedy, which there's basically only one way. Well, technically two ways you could wear this. You could basically hold it with your hand, you know, just casually like that, or also have it on the crook of your arm, which is how I basically wear it most of the time. But yeah, I purchased this in September and we are going on to the end of 2018. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see what's up with this bag and let's see how it's been wearing. So as you can see, I do have the Damir Ibin print and I have noticed a few things. <laughs> so the number one thing I noticed were these little buttons right there. They have been kind of fading a little bit. I don't know if you could see, but I'll zoom in a little. So this is basically how it looks like. This. As you can see, it the gold kind of tone is like washing off, kind of like scraping away right there. It's like scratched, and I don't understand how that hap. I really don't understand how that happens because I'm very careful with my bags. Here is the last one. This one's a little. This is the last one, as you can see. Yeah, I don't know how that happened, but um, yeah, that's that. Also, on the handles, everything looks amazing. Um, they look great, all the stitching and stuff. As we take a look on the inside of my bag, everything looks good, except right here, this little thread just decided to come out. Uh, of course, that's basically from the whole stitching and stuff but I really don't understand how that happened this is a leather part right here and it has some kind of um, fuzzy going on right there um, all over on this side everything looks good the d-ring um, looks amazing these little buttons right here don't have any uh, sort of fade going on to them and yeah. So I already went ahead and emptied out my bag. Everything looks great in it, but I did actually spill water in it. Of course, since it is water, it did not stain it, but it did dry pretty well, even though I had a few things in there. I am, for some reason, there's a little bit of glitter in here. I don't understand why. But overall, the only thing I see has been like the buttons here fading. Um, also, another thing I've noticed was that the lock, where it kind of stands, did curl downwards. Um, if you could see, this right here curls downwards. And also, the leather right there has been stretching a lot because of the lock and how heavy it is, like right there. That's pretty much like the only thing I've noticed with like the leather, sort of. Also, something I have noticed has been these little designs right here. The ends, like the very tip of the ends on the triangles right there, uh, kind of do curl up a bit. Not necessarily much on these sides, but on these sides they do. So, I don't understand why these are curling up right there. Um, I really, I just kind of actually noticed that, by the way. The bag pretty much seems very sturdy uh, since it is a canvas. Like, I've walked in the rain with this, and of course, since it doesn't have any bachata, it doesn't happen anything. Um, there is this leather piece right here that's the one without the lock, and some of the fuzzies from the leather, like the natural peel of it, it has starting to, you know, fuss away and stuff. Um, but overall, it looks amazing. Like, I feel like this looks pretty brand new still. Of course, despite the whole you know golden buttons fading a little bit which i am kind of sad about the first time i noticed that i did get kind of sad i have been enjoying this bag a lot and i'm very very happy with it i have not switched out my bag ever since i got this one which is absolutely crazy i mean i do reach for my cross bodies if i need to like go run an errand real quick but to go out and stuff i always reach for this bag and i am so in love with it I just love this bag so much. Every time I look at it, I just think of like all the hard work I put into it in order to purchase this. Um, so yeah, that is my three month update. I know it was very short and not really um, explaining much, but that's because it's barely three months. So I will be doing another one of these videos when I reach the six month, nine month, and a year. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned with all of those videos. And with all that being said, make sure you guys subscribe and comment, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!